Hello everyone and welcome back to MECC Gaming. In this video we're going to be looking at the Oregon Trail 2. This was released in 1994. Um, the Oregon Trail Classic Edition for Windows was also released around the same time it was ported over from the Apple II version. Three. So the 1993, uh, then this came along in 1994. Um, the little intro for this is experience the U.S. firsthand with the Oregon Trail 2 software program. You will travel the Oregon Trail, California, and the Mormon Trails as an immigrant facing daily dangers and bringing your wagon party across the continent. Just as the immigrants of 1840 to 1860, you'll rely on an authentic handbook for guidance and record your thoughts and impressions with a built-in diary. Uh, to start, uh, to start, you'll choose a jumping off point uh, or town. Select your year you want to travel. We have the choices of 1840 to 1860, your skill level, and head to town for supplies. Um, for, uh, as far as system requirements for this, if you're interested in it, uh, if you're running Windows, you need to have a 486 or higher, uh, Windows 3.1 or higher, DOS 5 or later, 256 color graphics card, 4 meg of RAM minimum, 8 meg recommended, a mouse, 12 meg of hard drive space, and a CD-ROM drive. If you're running a Mac, you'll need the 6830 LC3 uh, or greater, Power Mac recommended, 5 meg of RAM, 8 recommended, uh, 256 colors at 640 by 480, 12 meg of hard drive space, and a double speed CD-ROM. Um, a note, I do have a link in the description where you can download this from a website. I also have a link in the description for the direct files if you would like that. I've ripped the CD down into a, um, a Q file and a bin file. You'll need both of those to uh, basically to mount, the, uh, to mount the image. This is what they consider a multi-track CD being it's got Windows and a Mac version integrated together on one disk. So there is no um, there is no way to separate it into an ISO file. I tried it and it um, and it corrupted. So anyway, uh, let's get going. This one is a little more uh, graphic intensive, so you kind of get a better feel. So if you remember the first Oregon Trail uh, the, the, for the Apple II, the 1985 version, uh, you know the graphics were very plain. This has got a little more uh, dimension to it, so it's a little the experience is a little different. So we're gonna start a new game. Uh, we have to put our name in. Uh, we're going to stay a banker uh, just because. And let's travel as late as we can. And these are the different uh, places we're going to, we can start from. Just so that we kind of get the same feel for the other video that I did on the Oregon Trail 1 uh, for Windows. Let's start from the same place. And we're going to go to Oregon City. Um... We're going to take the large wagon. Uh, these are people. We're going to travel the trail. Okay. So this one is a lot different from the uh, the other one. So uh, like when you see the exit here, that means that that's you know to, to leave the town. But we have these little arrows. Here in town offer basic packages of supplies based on the size of one's party and estimated length of journey. Let's do the five month supply. Uh, I've learned in this that they don't give you everything that you necessarily need. Um, let's go get some wagon parts. Um, I always go through wagon axles. Um, so let's, let's get two of those, three wagons, uh, excuse me, two tongues, three wheels, and one cover. All right, I think we're good. And then you just kind of hover around until you see the exit. Um, let's see. Uh, let's just go after a shotgun. And... Let's get a pistol as well. So let's get seven. Seven, why not? All right. That was one of the things that we that we learned. Um, let's see what's in the pharmacy. 
because typically on these trails now, um, just from me playing this previously, um, we can get into um, all kinds of situations now. I don't see anything. Like the number one thing we get now is not dysentery, it's like snake bite. So, um, all right, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and exit here. We have to get our animals. And apparently the bigger the wagon, you need more animals. So, insanely num large number of animals here. Um, and you can talk to people. So. Howdy. Looks like you're heading west too, like me. I hear the best time to start out on the trail is in April. But I reckon there's different opinions about that. All right. Let's see. We can go into the general store here. Let's look at food. How much do we have? <laughs> Let's get some candy. Why not? You got, we're, we're traveling away from home. I'm not a big sardine person, but we'll give them something. Ugh, celery. All right, purchase. All right. Let's see. All right, so here we go. Let's go with train two. Let's go with the big. Let's go with a big party. So we're starting out at Independence, Missouri. This is our new map. Um, for right now, since we've only traveled ten miles, we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna push it. Um, here's our little panel down here. It tells us what's going on. Let's just kind of get on. Let's get some mileage under our belt before we start Topeka, Kansas. All right. Uh, four foot deep, 600 foot wide, total 650. Um, let's take the ferry. And the reason I say that um, is because now we have these little whirlpools that we have to... Uh, that we have to deal with. So, if you get hit with one of those, your wagon will tip over. I see. Two and a half feet. Let's take the toll bridge. <laughs> It don't matter if it's foggy, we'll plow on through it. Alright, we'll wait our turn to cross. Ain't no big deal. Let's see. Two foot. Now, this is that magic number. Sometimes you can forward the river at two foot, and sometimes you sink in the mud. So, uh, let's caulk it and float it. That's the only way we can do it. And we can get stuck in the mud, so now we you have to be able to fix that problem on your own. Right, let's visit somewhere. We haven't. Oh, well, they well, they want money. We don't we don't want it. We're cheap. We're gonna keep going. I'm from the south. Fog is not a big deal. You just turn your headlights on and drive 100 miles an hour. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Butcher animal for meat. <laughs> uh, let's rest four days. It's not a big deal. It's rainy anyway. It's muddy. So we're 312 miles in. And we're going to follow. Here's Fort Kearney. So let's let's visit the fort because this is one of the original ones we see. But we can now talk to people. Let's check our... That's a lot of bacon. 325 pounds of bacon. Let's 
see what our guidebook says. Any, any advice here? Let's increase our pace a little bit. Um, go ahead and leave. See if we can move just a little bit faster. Tornado out there, all right. I sure don't want to rest here for a while with mosquitoes. Oh. Two foot deep, it's that magic number. Let's board the river, let's, let's just see if we sink. Got our little oxen there working hard. That's a long way across. We just made it. Now, this is what's interesting about this game. So we don't have to worry about just rivers. Now we also have to worry about hills. So we have to check the hill condition. It's muddy, but not very steep. Uh, let's just double team it, tie all the wagons together, and continue. Does that look very steep? Just to be sure, let's, uh, alright. Well, coming up to Chimney Rock. We'll take a look around here. Oh, let's get some, get some free food. Six pounds. Uh, let's see who's around Chimney Rock. They usually tell us. Yeah, that's usually what they tell you. Laramie River, so we're up to the, uh, there should be a fort around this area. So let's check our health and make sure everybody's, we're all still good. River's three foot deep, we can't ford that, I know. Um, Let's take the toll across. Let's visit the fort. Let's see what we have for, um... Let's talk to the guy. Why not? I'm one of the regulars here at the fort. You might take advantage of this place to rest a while and build up your strength for the next part of your journey. Okay. Ugh, garlic. Uh, ham? Love our ham. Alright, let's see if there's anything else. Let's get a bottle of alcohol. <laughs> Jug of whiskey. Let's see if we can figure out how to get out of here. All right, ready to go. Let's do um, let's do some hunting just so that we can uh, have some experience with that. You have to click down here to reload. And this is how you turn, so you can change. Boy, this ain't accurate at all. <laughs> Get the pistol, good lord, that thing. 
didn't hit a thing. The animal was actually safer in front of the gun. There we go, at least we got one. Oh, this is a good place. Let's see what's out here. And I don't know if there's a shortcut key for that, but that would be very helpful. <laughs> Shotgun would be better for this situation. Alright, well we're just going to take our whole nine pounds of food and uh, continue on. And let's hunt here. Let's just see what happens. Um, I don't think I have a rifle. I don't think my rifle. Yeah, we do. That's a prairie dog? I don't know. There's something over here. And in here, I don't think there's a time limit in, um, in the way in honey. So you can... We've got a whole pound of food. I guess that's to supplement our bacon supply. Because we'll be dead with cholesterol by the time we get to Oregon. Independence Rock. Oh no! Alright, let's see. Let's check our health. Alright, we're, we're still okay. All oh, right, let's celebrate the four. Good way to get shot, possibly. Let's rest for a couple days. Just to... let's see what's in the trading post, just for the heck of it. Turpentine. Hammer and an axe. We might can. Alright, let's go. Let's see what we got. Two foot deep. Or the river. Alright, we made it again. Ice. Okay, so what? Yeah, it's July. So you can see we have a lot more stops in this version of the Oregon Trail. Fairly steep. I don't want to lighten my load. Let's chain that thing up the hill. Two foot deep, 50 foot wide. Let's ford the river. It's not very wide. Nothing to it, like a stream. rest here. Let's check on things, make sure that we're our health is still good. Peggy's not doing so well. But... We don't really need anything. And that was a split in the road. Uh, it, it, when you talk to people, they ask you if you want to go this way or that way, but it doesn't give us a choice to go one way or the other so that's three foot deep so a ferry for eleven dollars we're caulking it and floating it we're gonna we're gonna die but we're gonna oh well we made it i thought for sure we got in that whirlpool let's see what we can let's go faster 
search for something useful. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, which way did we go? We are getting right desperate. We won't last much longer. Go faster. All right. Let's rest here. Just we're beside a river. We should be able to get water. Ooh, my health is not good. We need to rest some more. <laughs> if I don't live, and the whole party dies. All right, everybody's back in good shape now. Um, that's one thing about this. You don't, they don't tell you down here your health, uh, but we're going to take the toll bridge. Um, looks steep. Hey, the band, okay. Salt. Preserved food. Hey, let's take a rest here. Take two days. The old soda springs looks a lot uglier than it does in the original one. Boy, this is such a meandering path. There's the Snake River. I know we'll eventually have to cross it. Well, great. Let's try to fix it. Uh, We don't want to rest if we ain't got no water. A little dust ain't gonna slow us down. Let's see, let's just take a couple days here. My health is good. Let, let's let's uh, try to get our health up because we're getting kind of in that part of the trail where. Um, if you're not in good health, you don't make it. <laughs> yeah, I'm from the south. Fog's a way of life. You just turn your headlights on and go. Oh, Lord. Let's see. Two foot, 130. This appears to be a fairly ordinary river. All right, well, let's forward it then. slow us down. We're going to keep going. We're in a wagon train here. Let's look here and see what's going on. Just because we've been... Oh, finally! The old dreaded... Um, let's do uh, peppermint... is uh, mainly for indigestion. Um, one and a half feet. A little tricky. Let's just give it two days and let's see if anything changes with the let's caulk it and float it. We we'll figure we're gonna get stuck in the mud. I don't want to lose all my supplies. Oh. Let's check our health. How we doing? Yeah, we're doing okay. We're into September, so we got to we got to get there. We're gonna be in the snow. September eleventh. <laughs> All right. 
two foot deep, 100 foot wide, and ford that river. Concussion. Keep patient active because we don't want them to go to sleep. Uh, doesn't look very steep. We're just going to double team the animals. We're out of water, so we need to get moving. Let's take a rest here and get some get some water in us. Ooh, all right, we definitely must definitely need to take a rest here. All right, we're all good. Let's get going. Maybe we'll actually make it to Oregon. Of course, I said that. So we have smallpox. <sighs> smallpox is fairly. Well, smallpox is just. We'll, we'll provide them with a nice burial. So, well, I would love to got there and had everybody, but that's just not the way that it goes. One foot forty. Yeah, we can afford that. I will say this game is a lot longer than the uh, Reginald Oregon Trail. Let's check our health. Right. I wish we could. The only complaint here. I wish we could see how far we have to go, which we're getting close. Okay, find another path, clear the path, okay. Let's keep checking our health since we don't have that. Let's just be safe and anchor it. <laughs> We're so close. Two foot deep, 50 foot wide, let's pour it. Fairly steep. Ropes and chains, can't go wrong, it just takes longer. Let's check our health. We're still doing okay. I know it's got a little bit harder bottom. Okay. We can try to fix it. No, we, we haven't been very successful here on fixing things. So. One foot, 200 foot wide. We should be able to make that. It doesn't look 200 foot. The thing just kind of randomly picks how big the river is, I guess. Three and a half feet. We're gonna take the ferry. We're not chancing it being this close. Doesn't look all right. Continue up the hill. <laughs> we have eighty dollars. Let's just do it. Oh, 
All right. Stake your lane claim. We made it day after Christmas. <laughs> Including a major figure of an early 20th century government and business scandal. Wow, okay. Alright guys, that's the, that will do it. We have, um, I wish it had kind of a more grandiose thing here, but uh, this is the actual ending, um, ending to the Oregon Trail 2, uh, Oregon Trail 2 game. Uh, game time, play time on this, roughly 30 minutes or so for us to, to get there. Um, I kind of took the cheap way around uh, using the, um, using the toll roads and you know stuff like that but you know if you wanted to make it of course more challenging you would um wouldn't go as a banker you go as a farmer or something and then you know where you actually have to survive we lucked out and uh, we had the resources that we needed to complete the um the trail guys that's going to do it for the oregon trail 2 um coming up we'll do the uh, oregon trail 3 and the oregon trail 4 all right well i will see you on the next video thanks for watching